This video will give you an overview of the online practice and extra activities and resources for Focus Second Edition. They are powered by My English Lab and you can access them on the Pearson English portal. Depending on which version of the student's book your students have, either the student's book or the student's book with online practice, they will have access to one of two digital components. The first is extra activities and resources. This contains grammar and vocabulary checkpoints and reading, listening and use of English banks of texts and exercises in exam-style formats for further self-study. The second is online practice and extra activities and resources, which contains everything described so far, as well as an interactive version of the workbook. As a teacher, you have access to both components. You can access them through the code in the teacher's book. Each time you log into the Pearson English portal, you'll see your dashboard. If you haven't yet activated the code in your teacher's book, click Add Product. Once you have added your course, click on the icon to enter. For this example, we'll use Focus Second Edition Level 2. Here's where you'll find the Online Practice and Extra Activities and Resources or the Extra Activities and Resources. Your students will have access to online practice and all the extra activities. However, they can also be assigned by the teacher. To assign activities to your students, first create a course and share the course ID with your students so that they can join. To create a new course, first click on Create Course, then click on New Course and click Next. Enter the course name and course end date, then select the correct level of Focus Second Edition from the drop-down list. Finally, click Submit. You can now share the course ID with your students. Clicking Print will generate a PDF document with the course information and joining instructions for students. You can customise your course by clicking on the Settings tab. Under Course Management, click Manage for the course you would like to customise. Here you can manage your students and resources or change the course and grade settings. Students can register on My English Lab and join the course with the course ID. Alternatively, you can enrol students yourself by creating new usernames and passwords for them. To register each student, click on the Settings tab. Under Course Management, click on Manage for the course. Under Manage Students, click Register New Students, then Register Single Student. You can now enter the first student's information and generate a password for them. Click on Submit. The username and password will be generated automatically. However, it can always be edited later according to your preference. If you would like to track your students' performance and offer assistance when needed, you can assign the activities to them. To assign content, select the course. This icon indicates that you are the owner of the course. Select the specific activities you wish to assign to your students. The total number of activities assigned is displayed on the Assign button. The labels inform you if a test is teacher graded. After selecting the exercises, click Assign. Set the due date and time. If you want your students to have access to an assignment in the future, you can simply set the start date and time, then click Next Step. Here, you can change the settings of each assigned exercise, such as the number of attempts students can have at each exercise or test, setting the scoring of exercises and tests not submitted by students, as well as the availability of hints and tips. You can also use the Enable Timer option to give time limits. Once the student begins the assignment, they will have a set amount of time to complete it. For system graded activities, you can decide if you want your students to see the feedback, as well as decide on the grading of incorrect capitalization and punctuation. You can also decide after how many attempts your students can see the correct answers. If you don't want to set any advanced settings, click on Basic Mode. To see the advanced settings again, click on Expert Mode. When you are happy with the exercises you have set up, click Assign. Once the exercises have been assigned, a reminder will appear on the assignment screen. If there is more than one reminder, you may select Dismiss All so that they don't appear anymore. You may also click on the cross icon to temporarily hide them. 
Now you and your students should feel confident using the Focus Second Edition online practice and extra activities and resources. For more information, make sure you watch the other videos in this series.